Today we're gonna to walk you through how to set up phone call conversion tracking on your website. Let's get started. As you can see on my screen, we've got Google Tag Manager pulled up in front of us. Now, this is the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to tagmanager.google.com, set up the website, and then you're gonna to get to this code. So we're gonna to wanna to install Google Tag Manager on the website. Once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and copy this header code. Now, I'm gonna show you how to install it on a WordPress website. But if you're on Wix or Duda or GoDaddy or some other platform, look up how to install this code in the header section, in the body section. But I'll walk you through the WordPress site. So once we got the header code, we're going to go to plugins over here. We're going to go to add new plugin and we're going to want to get the headers and footers um, plugin installed on the website. So once we've got this, we're going to go ahead and install this one. And once this is installed and activated, we're going to go to the settings and we're simply going to copy and paste the header and we're going to copy and paste the body of it. So we've got headers and footers here. We'll go to the settings and we'll go to scripts and a header. We'll go copy paste Google Tag Manager. We'll go back to Google Tag Manager. We'll copy the body and you can see here scripts and body. Perfect. Once that's complete, he'll select save changes. And it should be installed on the website. Now there is a Google Chrome extension that you can use to verify that it's installed on the website. But for this point, let's just assume that it's installed and head over to Google Tag Manager and Google Ads to set up the phone call conversion tracking. All right guys, once we have Google Tag Manager installed on the website, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is log into the Google Ads account, select tools and settings up here, go to conversions, once we select conversions, we'll want to select new conversion action, select phone calls. And what we're going to go ahead and do is just do the calls from ads at the beginning. We're going to set up the calls from the ads. We're going to set up the calls from the desktop and mobile. And then I'll show you guys an additional way to track phone calls if you guys are running into any problems. But really the first two are going to be the most important. So calls from ads using call extension. We're going to do call from extension as the name. Uh, you can use don't use value or if you have a specific value, go ahead and select the value for each call. We're gonna select one here. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're just gonna to wanna to track every single call that comes through. So we'll do zero seconds. I like to change this from data driven to last click. That way we're able to see the last click that made them convert. So with data driven and last click, data driven is gonna, so if they click on uh, two different keywords, two different days and they convert, it'll, it'll attribute 0.5 and 0.5 to both keywords. But with last click, it'll do whatever the last click was that made them convert. This is just a whole lot easier to organize information. Um, so I, like, I just like to do last click. You guys, if you guys know more about it, choose which one you prefer. But if you don't know much about it, go ahead and choose last click. The next thing that we're gonna do, uh, so we set up the call extension, is we are gonna go ahead and set up the phone calls from the website. Now we're gonna call this phone call from website. And what I like to do sometimes is I like to just put the number in here. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Don't use a value. We're going to do one. Um, and what I like to do is just copy paste, copy paste, and make sure that this phone number is exactly how it shows on your website so that it doesn't, Google doesn't mistake it. Um, if it's not exactly how it shows, uh, the Google might not replace it. So you guys might miss conversion. So just go ahead and place it exactly how it looks on your website in both sections. We're going to go ahead and do zero seconds again. We're, don't worry about the click through conversion window. And we're going to go ahead and do last click again. Now it's going to, well, it's going to give me an invalid phone number. Um, let's go ahead and do um, just a random phone number. I don't know whose phone number this is invalid phone number. All right. All right. This one is local to St. Louis here. Now what we're going to want to go ahead and do is select Google tag manager, copy this conversion ID. So go ahead and copy it. We we'll want to go back over to Google tag manager. Once we're in here, we're going to select new. We're going to select tag configuration, Google ads, Google ads calls from website conversion. You'll copy paste and then we'll display phone number. Make sure it's exactly how you, how you put it. So nine, three, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven. We'll go back to Google, Google ads. We'll select the conversion label and we will go ahead and copy it here. Now don't worry about the advanced settings. Um, this is good to go. We'll trigger it. Go ahead and trigger it on all pages. If you want to track all pages, if you guys have a specific page and don't want to track all pages, um, 
there's ways around it, but for the simplicity of this, select all pages. What I like to do is I like to save it. I like to call it GA as Google Ads, and then I do phone call conversions. There you go, perfect. Um, another thing I forgot is we're gonna wanna go ahead and add the conversion linker. So go ahead and click new again, tag configuration, conversion linker, triggering all pages. Just go ahead and save this. Oops, save that. You're good to go. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna do, and this is completely optional. So if you're running this and you notice Google is just not tracking calls correctly. Apple has come out with some iOS changes um, over the years and over the months where it has prevented cookies as well as some sort of tracking on the mobile website. So sometimes your mobile conversions are not gonna count correctly. Google just not able to switch that phone number. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, and this is optional guys, if this should be sufficient, um, this is if you're running the issues on conversion tracking on the mobile phone for phone calls. So I'll walk you guys through what we do and it's not 100% perfect. So we'll go ahead and go to tools and settings. We'll go to conversions. Oh, we gotta reload Google, Google ads. So we'll go ahead and select that conversions again. And what we're gonna do is click phone calls and then we're gonna go over to the mobile website calls. All right guys, so once we're here, we're gonna select new conversion action and do phone calls. Clicks on your number on your mobile website. Now this is not 100% perfect because these are clicks, they're not phone calls, but this is the next best option for calls on your mobile website if you're having difficulty tracking these. It's not 100% because it's clicks instead of phone calls, and sometimes somebody will click and not call, um, but sometimes somebody will click and call. So it's it's not perfect, but it's very accurate, I would say with 85% accuracy, maybe a little bit higher, because um, most people who click do call. So we'll label it mobile click to call on website. We'll use, don't use conversion value, Unless you want to use a conversion value, we'll select one again, um, and we'll skip click through conversion window and view through conversion window, and we'll select last click again. We'll select create and continue. We'll say use Google Tag Manager. So we'll go ahead and copy the conversion ID, go back to Google Tag Manager, select new, select tag configuration, select Google Ads, and select Google Ads conversion tracking. You don't wanna do Google Ads calls from website conversion, just the conversion tracking. Go ahead and copy paste that conversion ID, go back to the Google Ads account, copy this conversion label, go back to the Google Tag Manager, paste that conversion label, and we're good to go. Don't worry about all these settings. Um, if you have conversion value, put, put it in, one, two, zero, whatever it may be, um, or just leave it blank. Triggering, we're gonna wanna go ahead and trigger it on not all pages, because that would automatically count as a conversion. What we wanna do is choose a trigger. Now we already have this trigger here, but let me show you guys how to set it up. So this will trigger when somebody clicks on the phone number link. So we'll do wait for tag. Um, we'll do page path and it contains that. We'll do click URL and the way to find click URL is you will choose choose built in variable, select click URL. And this contains T E L with the two dots. And this is the link for phone call for phone calls on mobile phones. So anytime you have a phone call link on your website that goes directly to phone number, it'll have TEL before the link. That way somebody can call you directly. So go ahead and save this, say phone call click on website, save it, and then you'll just have a trigger and then you'll go ahead and select save. So GA and then you have mobile website click, call clicks, and you'll go ahead and press submit and publish and hit continue. I'm not gonna do that since I'm. this isn't a, a real website, but now I'll show you guys how to see that your conversion tracking is set up properly. Now to verify that the conversion tracking is set up properly, what you're gonna wanna do is select this preview button, type in the URL that shows up, and then you're gonna be directed to this page right here. You're gonna be directed to the website as well as this page. Now, um, this is a live website that I'm showing you guys, so I don't wanna show that, um, show the actual website. But what you should do is when you're on the website, click on the phone number link. Now, now once you click on the phone number link, I'll do it really quick and then we'll be right back. Now, once you click on the phone number link, what will happen is I'm gonna click on it over here on my other monitor. And you can see that when I click on the phone number link, it activates this mobile website call clicks, which is a sign that the mobile website calls do work. Now, calls from website conversion, 
this is also a good sign that the tag fired and it's working and it's showing that the Google Ads conversion tag that swaps the phone number is active on the website. Now to verify that the Google Tag Manager code is on your website, if for some reason it's not firing, is to go to the Chrome Web Store extensions, if you're using Chrome, and install this Tag Assistant for Conversions or this Tag Assistant Legacy. This is the one we use. But what this will show is that when you go on a website, it'll show that the Tag Manager is installed. It'll show that it's either installed, it's not installed. Um, and the way you can do this is we'll go to our website here is we've got the Tag Manager code and we click on it and we see Google Ads Remarketing is enabled, Google Tag Manager is enabled, and Website Call Metrics are enabled. You can see this on any website, but you'll see if, as long as your Google Tag Manager code matches up with the one you have, it is installed. So, I hope this video helped you guys that are looking to set up phone call conversion tracking on your website. If you do have any questions or for some reason there was something that you missed, Leave, the con leave a comment down below. Make sure that if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe button. If you need any help with this and don't want to do it yourself, we can always help at Max Conversion. Go to max-conversion.com. We're a fully Google Ads agency. Can help with conversion tracking, set up campaigns, managing campaigns. Uh, more than happy to help. But overall, appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned for more videos.